Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So we are here and we are going to make some little dangly things. <clears throat> I guess that's what we're going to call them, is dangly things. Because um, I'm not really sure what you call it. Um, but I had gotten out my silicone mat because I was... I think it was... may have been Instagram. I don't think it was Pinterest. But anyway, um, I saw where they were taking like some flowers... Nope, that's not them. I'll throw them away because it didn't go well. But anyway, I was going to try and do some um, wax seals, which I'm not very good at. And I don't really like the way they turned out. Um, I didn't have a flat wax seal, which is what they were using because they were doing it with the hot glue. Um, so, yeah, so I think maybe that's why they didn't turn out exactly the way that they should they were pretty ugly if i'm honest but anyway so yeah um but i had that out and then i remembered um so i was doing those and then i remembered that i had these um and i had saw this like three four months ago or something somebody did some i can't remember who it was that used these um but it's these were from amazon i've had them for like i said three or four months two three four months i don't know uh, but they're epoxy dots. Um, and they're just clear. And, of course, they stick. They're sticky. Um, so I just got out my punch. Where'd the punch go? I have no idea what size this is, guys. Shame on Tim Holtz and Sizzix. This one's broken, by the way. It won't stay closed. I dropped it on the floor. Yeah. Um, but anyway, they don't put the size on here. They really should. But they don't nope it's not on there anyway but anyway um that size which works really well with these dots let's see if these dots do not tell me what size it is but it is a 200 piece epoxy dots um so yeah i remembered i had those so i went and grabbed them and these are the ones that i made and you can actually put them on a bulb pin and use them as a dangle and i guess you could see that shine there um, but it almost looked like, now I have made these before, but I used the, oh, what was it? I'm looking around. I don't see it anywhere. I think I have it actually put up where it's supposed to go. And I think it's up high. Um, yeah, I don't remember what the name of it is. Anyway, it's stuff you put over there to give it this, yeah, glossy look. So I made that one. And I just took some, um, book pages and, um printed something else um some journaling cards this one's really cute not sure if you can see it but it has a rose in it and then i just punched the hole in it because it is really flexible see how that moves um and then on this one guys on the end i actually used one of these little clips that i've seen people use on fabric uh, i have no idea what you call it but anyway I uh, bought that in bulk. It came from Amazon as well. Um, and then here's some more that I've made that I haven't punched holes in. So you could punch holes in them and make them as dangles. Or you could take them and just glue them on your page like that. You can use these as a closure for an envelope. Just tuck it down in there and just glue it halfway. Um, but I thought that would be fun. And since I had, you know, a good bit of the stuff already out. I also have the uh, Nouveau Crystal Drops. I have that one and then this one uh, and I have a couple over here they're not dry yet um, but this one I added it to here didn't do a very good job uh, I think I like this one better than this one because the second one I actually just put on this up here and yep you see how it gives it kind of that shimmery glossy look um, just on that flower so those will need to be dry before we do those um, because my hands don't work very well I do have some um, hook tweezers I don't know if that's what you call them um, when I was doing the wax seals I also had out all of my um, glitter and some regular glitter and glass glitter um, and let's see I did one where did it go right here this is just antique music sheet and you can see that glitter in there see that pink glitter um so i thought that was cute so you get out your glitter and do that as well 
um, to scoop out my glitter I use this this is just a plastic disposable straw but it's one that you buy that has a little scoop on the end for like thick ices or slushies um, these work really well I actually had three um, any well the grandkids got them from somewhere and I kind of uh, confiscated them I was like oh that would be a good scoop for something so that works well um, and I guess you could put fresh um, pressed flowers behind there or some kind of other really you know teeny tiny flower or oh you know what guys I have I have these up here oh what are those called I don't know I'm blank today guys I'm still not feeling great um, it's been four days today is Monday when I'm filming still pretty nauseated today um, let's see I ate on Tuesday and Wednesday um, night there's a tiny one baby's breath there you go uh, I'm sure you guys were screaming at me Wednesday night I ate um, oh yeah you could do that guys look at that these have not been pressed they're just dried there you go I just pressed it let's see how that's gonna look oh that's gonna look cute on there Oh, let's go ahead and do that one um yeah so i ate normally on thursday again today's monday oh look at the ear oh that's cute yes guys use pressed flowers even though it's upside down can you see it in there right there oh that's really cute i got that off don't have the steadiest of hands here oh that's gonna be cute but yeah you just take it off put it over it and press it down and then you can you know glue it or whatever you want to your projects let's see okay so yeah I ate normal on Thursday I'm getting sidetracked here and then um, I ate a small bowl of soup on Saturday so all I've had is a small bowl of soup in four days um, so I am drinking um, my husband got this it's it's off-brand of um, great Pedialyte electrolyte so yeah see about got this one gone And my voice still has not returned to normal. So, yeah, still kind of rough. Okay, let's get one off of here. And do it, maybe. So, yeah, I didn't want to drag out or get out, you know, a lot of other stuff so I just thought since I had you know half of these supplies out anyway that I would just work on some of these bring you guys along with me okay so let's do another one of those not good with tedious stuff let's see we need to make sure that we don't have it in the way I guess of the hole when we go to do that so I just take one off Oh, see, it feels like a magnet on there. Okay. That's at the very edge, but it's cute. So, see, it would be at the bottom. Wow, oh, what a cute idea. So, yeah, these right here I did go ahead and distress around the edges because I thought that. Um, that looked really cute. 
see we have something else maybe we could do a bigger bunch on something that's pretty plain so let's see let's cut that down and kind of squish it Get it upside right, maybe. Try to get it about where we want it anyway. There we go. And then we could just cut that off. Oh, cute. You see that flower in there? Oh, what a good idea. That's super cute. I like those. Okay. Let's see. To put these on the ones that are... fairly blank to give them a little something extra give that a good squish flowers in there. Not sure how good you guys can see those. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do some that we're not going to put anything on. And these are really quick, guys, too. I mean, as long as you're not messing around experimenting like I am. There we go. And this right here, guys, is Arabic in this corner. I have a book that is in Arabic, and I really love that font on there. Okay. Let's do this one, because it has a lot going on with that script. And this one here. Now, let's do one with a little bit of glitter just to show you guys that. And I think I'll do this one. And this is just, like I said, some of it's regular paper. Uh, the 20 pound paper and some of it is um, cardstock. Don't need that much glitter. So we could just put some glitter around on here. Lord have mercy, not that much. Goodness. Okay, let's just go with that. I make a big mess with glitter, that's why I don't use glitter that often. That sheet's used up, so let's grab another sheet, and each sheet comes with this little film on it. So just pull that off. Oh no, that one is really glittery. See that? 
that's cute. Alright. Yeah, so, and I don't think these were that expensive either, guys. So, you can go over to Amazon and search the epoxy dots. And I'm sure they have, like, all different sizes. I just like this size. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of these the way that they are. Instead of messing around with the glitter or anything else. See how quick that is, guys? Very, very quick. And you don't have to use the silicone mat. I just, like I said, I had it, <clears throat> excuse me, I had it out because I was doing, messing around with wax seals. Let's throw that on there since it's laying there. And I did do some with a stamp on a um, postcard that was printed, and I'll show you that one. And then there's some ledger paper there. Okay, so Bella just opened up the door. I guess I didn't have it shut good enough. Okay, so look at how quick, guys. And then the music notes. So I will probably keep some of these to do the holes. And I'll do one just to show you how easy it goes through there. Get the text up the right way. These are really fun. But just having these in your stash and ready. There's our glitter, glitter. Well, that's part of a stamp. This was, well, like the stamp that the post office does, 1908. Yeah, I think I'm up too high for it to focus. So, All right, so we'll put those over there. Um, so all I did, guys start to finish really is just cut out your circles I like the inking around it so I inked around it stuck it in there picked up one of my dots lined it up there and then give it a good squish oh squisharoo I'm gonna go ahead and stick these in here so that I can do them right quick and then get everything put away I did a lot of that Arabic script because again I love that okay so I have to ink around those all right so this is the one we done so we got it just give it a good squish so that that sticks on there good and then I just got out my crocodile and I did use the big hole and then find your top do a punch see really easy and then just get yourself a brad let's see if I have another pink one in here yep there we go it's not a brad oh goodness see how out of it I am guys Oh, an eyelet, not a brad. Goodness gracious. And then we will just put that in there and give that a squeeze. There we go. That's on there good. 
and then I have some colored ones. I think we'll stick. Let's stick a white one on there. And then just grab a ball pen, put it through there, and voila. There you go. A little dangle. A little dangle charm. So these are some other ones that I did. So I got that flower really good. And this one as well. And this was from one smaller journaling card. And I don't know from what kit. But it was printed out on cardstock. All of those came from that. <clears throat> and then this is the uh, part of the stamp that I got. And we did that one together. And then this was just... A stamp that was on a printable I know you can't see that good guys I apologize so yeah so I think that's gonna be it for right now guys I am going to go and lay down I told my husband I just wanted to do this video real quick so I could get all this stuff up off of my desk because at the moment I'm not feeling great great I gotta get I gotta get better it's back to work tomorrow so yeah really don't want to go in there feeling sick all right guys thank you all so much for joining me today i really do appreciate it um so yeah if you have this stuff laying around let's go and try your hand at it super fun and cute little embellishments to have in your stash so yeah, thanks again guys. I love you guys. Please continue to pray. Of course, when you see this video, it'll be way out. Hopefully I'll be a thousand percent better by then. But I love you guys and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.